Since you've expressed interest in Axonis before, but haven't asked for a full-blown demo, we created a demo before the demo, a five-minute look at the problem we solve and how we do it. Hopefully this will help you understand whether a product like this could help you. We say that we're automating asset management for cybersecurity. When it comes to the problem we see, we think it could be summed up in just one tweet. The CISO asks how many window hosts do we have, and depending on who they ask, they get a different number. But why? Why is asset management so difficult today? Simply put, there are so many solutions that know about assets, but they're siloed. They don't talk to each other, and they often have conflicting or incomplete data. That makes it really difficult to answer questions like, are security and IT agents installed on all of your devices? And are they working correctly and running the latest version? Which unmanaged devices are connected to privileged networks? Finally, are all my cloud instances configured properly and covered with necessary protections? Normally you have to go to multiple sources and correlate that information just to possibly answer these questions. That's extremely time consuming and difficult. The way we see it, traditional tools are collectors. And what's needed today is an aggregator or something that can collect and correlate information together to make sense of it and take action. Here's how we do it. By connecting to all the different security and IT solutions you're already using, we can do exactly three things. First, we give you a credible, comprehensive, and always up-to-date asset inventory of all devices, users, cloud assets, and SaaS applications. Second, we show you where you have coverage gaps to know any time an asset deviates from your security policy or desired state. And finally, we let you automatically validate policies and decide what action to take any time an asset doesn't adhere to your policy or expected state. We'll show you the demo in a second, but here's how we do it. Customers either deploy as a virtual appliance or use Axonius as a SaaS hosted solution. The product is completely agentless and doesn't require any network scans. Instead, we simply connect to solutions you're already using through what we call adapters, which are API connections. We have well over 400 today and we're always adding more. Finally, deployment takes hours, not days. So this is the Axonius dashboard. We'll come back here at the end, but as I scroll down, you can see how Axonius is able to derive a unique device count by correlating data from all devices seen. The same goes for users. By automatically analyzing key asset attributes from the adapters you connect, Axonius is able to identify all unique assets. So let's talk about getting started. As I said in the slides, to get started, you simply connect adapters. So these are our adapters, and these are the integrations with all the different tools that know about assets. Everything from endpoint protection, networking gear, you name it. There's over 400 of these today, and we're always adding more. And to get an adapter configured, all you have to do is give it credentials. That's it. So you give it credentials to all the different tools you use, and then the system immediately starts collecting information about assets. So let's look at one device very quickly. We can see this is a Windows 10 device. It's known to VMware. It's been scanned by Tenable. It has a McAfee agent on it. It's also known to Forescout and to the Cisco network. It's also being managed by SCCM. So there's a lot of data from each source, but now let's click the aggregated tab. On the aggregated tab, we've normalized all this data into one common framework. We can see things like network interfaces, installed software, whether there's any vulnerable software, any relevant installed security patches, any agent versions, and much more. So this is the full part of getting that full asset inventory. The next thing we want to do is understand how every asset fits our security policy. To do that, I'm gonna go back to the devices page and use the query wizard. So let's look at one specific query Let's say that every Windows device needs to have McAfee installed. I'll simply select OS type equals Windows. And here I'm going to scroll down and select McAfee. Finally, I'm going to hit the not flag to say that no ID exists for these devices. So that's how to search using the query wizard, and it's very, very simple. Let's take another example of public cloud infrastructure that's not being assessed for vulnerabilities. Here I'm going to select AWS, search for public IPs. Now I'm going to select my vulnerability scanner, which is tenable in this case. Again, selecting the not flag, this is showing me any AWS asset that is not known to Tenable. You can also perform aggregated queries, which look for certain conditions across any adapters you've connected. In this case, I'm looking for any device that has a vulnerability severity of high or critical. Now, this information can be derived from any vulnerability source or from any other adapter connected to Axonius that has vulnerability information. So these are some very, very simple queries that you can build in. Any query can be built out to any level of detail you want. In a personal demo, we go into much more detail on the query wizard. But in this case, I'm just gonna show you the very, very high level. So far, I've only shown you device level information, but there are many adapters that can show user permissions and configurations. So here's another aggregated query, which shows me any admin user that hasn't been seen in the domain in the last 30 days. 
The Cloud Asset Compliance add-on in Axonius can be used to automate your cloud compliance efforts. Here, I'm seeing how every Amazon instance adheres to or deviates from the CIS Foundation's benchmark for AWS. For rules that are failed, I can often see the devices or users affected with that rule. We also support the CIS benchmarks for Oracle, GCP, and Azure. In the Axonius Security Policy Enforcement Center, we can automate action for the devices and users that don't meet our policies. We can do this by defining a trigger, which is any saved query. So I can say, based on what I just saw, Windows devices missing McAfee agents, what do I want to do? Maybe I want to send a simple notification via email, Slack, or webhook. Maybe I want to create a specific help desk ticket for the right asset owner to follow up. In the case of cloud assets that were not being seen by Tenable, I can automatically add those to the next scheduled scan. For those risky users not seen in my domain, I can manage users in Active Directory with these actions here. We can also integrate into CMDBs, adding missing assets, or updating existing CI records. As you can see here, the possibilities are nearly endless as we have over 115 actions pre-built. Now any query can be turned into a dashboard chart, making the data easy to digest and track over time. So this is the fastest I could possibly go over this, and when we do a demo, we'll spend a lot of time on your specific questions and use cases. But this is what the Axonis platform can do, and hopefully it gives you the information you need to decide whether a demo is right for you. Thank you.